Uh, I have Lamar too. You put some respect on a black quarterback, finally. Oh my God, I disagree with you, but that is what's <laughs> up. I'm proud of you, bro. You've been racist for a long time and you've been delivered. Jared <laughs> took over, bro. Actually, you also have Lamar. I have Lamar too, also. Damn, yo, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, I swear to God. All right, oh, I got Dante, Lamar second. So no, I can't racist. be the only person. No. On Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a, another episode of Barbershop Break Room. I hear you guys missed us because we missed a couple episodes. It's all Jordan's fault. Jordan put the camera on yourself. No. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? It's not my fault. Okay, it's not his fault. It's all of our fault. It's not my fault. I will say that. It's Derek's fault for getting a job. It's, not it's Derek's and, fault for going on vacation. And going on vacation. If you let Matt tell it, Derek should have never got a job <laughs> right. or went on vacation. My bad. My or bad. got a life. My bad, Matt. I agree. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jordan. So sorry, everybody. We missed a few episodes. Hopefully you guys missed us and this episode goes off. Um, remember, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, chat it up with us. Sub to the OF. Sub to the left. Click a little right there. The left? Yeah, that's yeah, sure. I that's what that's I what said. said. Yep, that's what I said. No, but it's all right. Keep going. What'd you say? Isn't Keep a subscriber. Going. He was trying to plug his OF. Ours. No, yours. No, oh, okay. All right. So let's jump right into it. Team USA played earlier today and they looked like they were in peak form, except Joel Embiid. <laughs> One and I heard Jason Tatum also. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 323 Gatorades passed or something like hmm. that. He broke hmm. the record. I, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Did you he, oh, he, he beat overtook, Giannis's brother's record. He overtook the Nasus? Yeah. Dang. He beat his record. You don't know what that did, like, like for me to like just see him sitting Start on the laughing. bench like a fresh. I loved every second of it. I was going off on Twitter. I see all like the you see the ones of the text, like, what are you doing today? Picture of Jason Tatum. What does that mean? Nothing. It means I'm doing nothing. <laughs> or does my make a joke? But what does that mean? Like I'm not playing today. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm yeah, it's someone, the Celtics. <laughs> Shut someone up. Someone now got it. That was one of the texts that said, Bro, are you serious? He sent a picture of Jason Tatum. He said, What? He said, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate the Celtics. NBA champ. So good. Someone said uh, there was a, a very similar trait between Team USA and the Celtics is uh, they don't need Jason Tatum to win. Oh, I saw that. That's a good I one. I saw that. That's a good one. Twitter was going off today. I will give a, a shout out to fucking KD though. Dude didn't play one exhibition game and he fucking balled out. Yeah, he went crazy. Yeah, not it's missing Kevin Durant. Yeah. yeah. Granted it is KD, but he wasn't, he didn't play any games either. Well, the, the good thing for Kevin Durant is he's an amazing shooter in general. Like I'm not even going to say like he's better here, but he's an exceptional mid-range shooter. Yeah. And <clears throat> the three point line is We'll be back to closer. that. We will. And uh, the three-point line is closer. Why not have KD knocking down constant threes because it's really low-key twos for him? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, Kevin Durant balled out. But there was another player that went crazy. Just two old heads. Just another old head. Grandpa. Le Captain America. Le, Le Gramps. Le Grandpa. What were Le Flag Bearer. Le, Le Flag Bearer. Bearer. Le Captain America is hard, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's people are saying it looks like George Washington. That pic, I was, bro, that picture, I said, I'm going to tell my kids this is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chair, man. This chair loud as fuck. <laughs> uh, all of our chairs are loud whenever we lean back. So uh, do you think Steve Kerr made a mistake by not playing Jason Tatum? Because um, he said he felt like an idiot for not playing him. Felt like an idiot because he was an NBA champ and he feels like he should have played just because of his status? Probably. I mean. They didn't need him. Jason Tatum could have played. As long as he just didn't care about getting the ball and scoring. There you go. Like, he could do everything that Derek White was doing. But that's the thing, though. He's not that type of player, and I think that's why he didn't play. Uh, I'm surprised Tyrese didn't get any uh, any playing time. I mean, the thing about Tyrese is, is, like... Did he get playing time? I know he didn't get... He didn't... I quit watching, like, fourth quarter, basically. So... Never went in. I was going to say he didn't go in. DNP. Yeah. Hey, he's an assist god. He is, but what you need an assist god out there when you yeah. got the god out there? I, that's what I'm saying. I'm surprised LeBron's playing that many fucking minutes. His pronouns are he and him. It, Dwayne Wade said that too many damn times. Bro, he, it's he, like, all right, bro, we get it. You got to push his agenda. We Didn't can't. Antonio Brown say something like, uh, yeah, what's now your tell son's? us your son's pronouns. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. We saw that. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I don't support that. Yeah, Dwayne Wade, he it was what? a little corny. He kept saying that over and over again. Oh, no, I'm not telling you which one I don't support. <laughs> don't you want to catch me up today? Um, but uh, do we know who they're going to play next or who they're going to play winner of? Nah, I don't. I'm going to look that up real quick as you fill some time for me. Hey, I just want to say, though, 
Um, I was on Twitter. I was very active today. If oh, you're I'm a LeBron sorry. hater, boy, you're in hell. <laughs> you are in hell, boy. Oh, man. Like, at this point, you just got to embrace the dude, bro. Like, what did my dude say? Thank God LeBron's 30. You won't have to deal with this fuckery for too much longer. <laughs> in, like, what, 2016? Or 2015, something like that? Dog, still going 10 years later. Yeah. Balling still. Dang. You know who they're going to play? Germany. South Sudan. The uh, rematch. They're about to scrape them. Wait, past. I was going to say, so didn't they almost lose to, was it South Sudan? Yeah, they won by two. Yeah, but they got LA. JT Thor over there. They missed uh, the game-winning layup, didn't they? No, nah, LeBron made the game-winning layup. No, I mean, no, South Sudan went down with a chance, and they missed the game-winning layup. Oh, maybe. maybe. I thought that's what I seen. Like, LeBron made one with, like, four seconds left, and then they got down the court and missed it. I Who think it clutch? probably would have been to tie, because I think they were up by two. Who I think clutch? it was one. I might be wrong. I thought Lebr- I thought Team USA won by one. No, they won by two. They won by two. Okay. Well, then it would have been a tie. Look how you said LeBron would have uh, led with four seconds left. Who ain't clutch? Who? Who? But, uh, yeah, it was it was impressive. Um, I think Jason Tatum, honestly, I don't think he played because I think he would have just threw the rhythm off. You, you know, you had your, like, you don't need a dude coming in trying to get his shot and get himself hot when you already got KD going off and... You know, Anthony Edwards plays within it, and like Jason Tatum doesn't really play within an offense. Well, that's who took Jason Tatum's spot, basically, is KD. KD. Yeah. Would yeah. you rather have KD or J- Jason Tatum? KD. There you go. Olympic KD. Yeah, I was going to say, he's he's been there how many years in a row? Exactly. Not how many years in a row, but how many Olympics in a he's row? He's literally leading USA in all major statistical categories. Because he played the most. Exactly. So, the shout game. out to KD. Shout out to Braun. Um, speaking of LeBron, and speaking of uh, perfect basketball players... I think we should do something, guys. Let's build the perfect NBA player with these attributes. Give me one second. <laughs> I can list them off of you. Go ahead, you. bro. So for the best player ever, this is what we're going to use. Athleticism, clutch, perimeter defense, interior defense, playmaking, dribbling, three-pointer, mid-range, and finishing. Bam. Let's go. Let's start with finishing. Yeah, that's right. I want to always. So you're gonna to go bottom. to the bottom, bottom <laughs> to top, huh? Because finishing is at the top of mine. <laughs> so for finishing, I have two people that could be here, but I put Michael Jordan for finishing. <laughs> Who'd you put? That's I put Michael Jordan there too. Who'd you I put? put Kyrie. Uh, I got him for. I got him for something else. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, I got somebody else for that too. AI. So I I, I thought about swapping. And moving. Who you got on. for dri- uh, we'll, I mean, we don't have to go. We'll get Who do you got for dribbling? We'll get there. Jamal Crawford. <laughs> what you? What, what you mean? Kyrie's the best. I was, man, he is. But would you rather have Kyrie's ball handling or Kyrie's ability to finish? Like, I think the gap between him and the next that's best what finisher, I was trying to think. and the gap between him and the next best ball handler is bigger. Like, I think Iverson is closer to him as a ball handler. I agree. Than. Jordan is to Kyrie as a finisher. So you think Jamal's a better dribbler or better with ball handling than AI? So I had AI somewhere else, and then until okay. we started talking about the Olympics, I just erased it a second ago. So I'm cool to put AI in dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about somebody. Um, Are you guys cool with Kyrie at finishing? Or, I mean, we could put Jordan. I feel like if we don't put Jordan there, where we put him? Nowhere. Okay, I do have a spot for him. Where'd you put him? Clutch. See, I put... He's the most clutch ever. I put. I think LeBron statistically is the most clutch ever. Absolutely, but I put. I put him there. Well, Somebody. All right. Let's, I mean, let's, we're gonna let's put run Jordan through them. We'll, yeah. We'll put people wherever. As we like, we're on, gonna like, okay. Jordan yeah. for right now. So right. finishing, we'll go with Jordan for right now. Okay. Sure. Who's it on? Me. All right. Mid range, where I had Allen Iverson. Kevin Durant. Oh, bro, yes. That's yeah. who I, I forgot have. about Kevin Durant. Okay, we all three have KD there. Yeah, I forgot about him. Because when you were talking about it, I'm like, damn, he has him at mid-range too. When I did... <laughs> okay, so we were supposed to do this a long time ago. Yeah. When I did this, they weren't in the playoffs. So I just didn't think you of You didn't him. think of KD? No, I just didn't think of him. He's the GOAT. I'm sorry, Kevin Durant. I disrespect you. From the midi. T. Durant, please don't come for me. Shout out Sean Livingston. I will mention. I want Sean Livingston's mid range now. No, KD's way better at mid range than Sean Livingston. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Sean right. Livingston's there. He's he's an honorable mention, but he ain't him. Three pointers. Do we really need to go back and forth? Mm, with no, this? I so we think all have uh, Ray Allen. 
Oh, I had a uh, cow quarter. I have Larry oh, Bird. Shit. <laughs> the hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Steph. Steph. Yeah. All right, dribbling, not Jamal Crawford. I had Kyrie here. This is where I also had Kyrie. Yeah, I get that. I mean, I'm cool with having Kyrie there. Yeah, I, I mean, him and AI, it's 1A, 1B, I think, mm -hmm. for them. So let's go out I think I mean, depending Kyrie. on where Jordan and all them lie, we can go back to dribbling and finishing and rearrange it. But okay. I think Kyrie for right now. We can keep him there. Uh, who you guys got for playmaking? Larry Bird's rival. Mine too. That's who I got. I do not have him, but we can put him. You know who you got? I have Steve Nash. Ooh, See, that's a good one that's too. That's a good one. That is a good one. See, I, I had I put magic there. Hmm. I feel like Personally, there's like a damn LeBron. LeBron would be great, but I think Magic's right there. I think there was a better category for LeBron. Yeah, that's why I okay. didn't put him there either. Um, let's go Magic for playmaking. I think I like Mag uh, Mag Magic. Magic there. Magic. Jesus Christ. Uh, perimeter defense. Oh, we're going perimeter. I, yeah, I broke them down uh, perimeter you. and interior because yeah, yeah, this yeah. is all around. So Just in my list, interior to... was first. So yeah. that's why. I... Okay, we can go interior. Go ahead. Uh, I had Hakeem. Hakeem. Most blocked shots in NBA history. Yep. We'll Sorry, I scratched him. my ankle. I had, uh, just for fun, I had Mathumbo there. Mathumbo? No, I mean, I figured that you guys would have the same no, guy. No. So I was like, I'll just put I wouldn't have been mad at like Dwight Howard or something like that either. JaVel, yeah. No. <laughs> you were about to say it. I was about, about to say, to... right? <laughs> JaVel, what? You know, you always go to agree with somebody, even yeah. though you have no clue what they're going to say. I was yeah. about to do you that. You start shaking your head. Yep. All right, uh, perimeter D. I have two people here. Okay. Um, a lot of people, I saw some of these people just put defense as Jordan. Yeah. He's not the best defender ever. No. Especially not Even perimeter. when I looked up perimeter defense, because I was like looking up just like the best stat-wise, who was better where, and a lot of people were arguing Jordan for perimeter defense. No. And man. I was like, well, not putting him there. So He's not. We probably saw maybe like the same list or people ranking him. Well, I, I have did this two. off the top of the dome. I This guy that off the top of the dome, I said Scottie Pippen. Ooh. And then I did a little bit of research. Okay. Can I Gary say Gary Payton? No, was, I have Gary yeah. Payton. I have Gary Payton as well. You have the glove, baby. Um, and then I saw a list. It went Gary Payton, then Scotty. Yeah. So the right off the top of the head, according to whatever list I saw, number two wasn't too bad. Yeah. I, I prefer Gary Payton over. I got GP. Scotty has yeah. more range. He can guard a little bit bigger and smaller. Gary but Payton. we're not going off size for him. Exactly. You know what I mean? We're just going off the skill of perimeter defense. Yep. Um, okay, so perimeter D, Gary Payton. Clutch. Statistically speaking, Le LeBron Raymond James is the most clutch basketball player in NBA history. Not who I picked for here. I have Jordan here just for the people on the internet for them to be like, well, you got LeBron above Jordan and clutch. Ha, ha, ha. Six beats four. I had LeBron here. I have Jordan here. Who you got? I have Kobe here. Damn, that is crazy. <laughs> we got the top three. <laughs> That's crazy. Because I still think there's a better category for LeBron. I think there's a person that's more athletic than LeBron. So I have LeBron as athleticism. I have that's, Russell Westbrook. I have LeBron at athleticism. Russell Westbrook as an athlete is crazier than LeBron James as an athlete. What about Zion? Is he eating a lot of food or? Let's say college, like Duke Zion. 285 pounds. Are the shoes going to help or are they going to blow out when he's fucking well, He plants? should put on thick, heavy LeBrons. 285 pounds, 6'6", 40 plus inch vertical. I only said Russ because he's a small guard and so this I, dude was jumping out of the gym. Like I, LeBron with size and everything, yeah, I agree. Like let's say it was LeBron's build with Russell say, this Westbrook's. This isn't their build, yeah. so that's why yeah. like Athletics I was between two people. I didn't even think of Russ though. I was between LeBron and Jaw, D Rose. Oh, ja. D Rose is a good one. Ooh. Jaw's a good one. Is D Rose? It, it just looks crazier as a, like a six two six three guard jumping out yeah, of the gym than absolutely. a six eight. LeBron James that doesn't yeah. have to go that high. To but imagine play. if LeBron could jump the way that those guys Derek do. Derrick Rose could jump or Jaw. Yeah, <laughs> like bro, he can. He's just six eight. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, he can get that high. But I say he has a forty inch vertical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, literally. It's, but let's say, well, how? I was gonna say we're not estimating. He literally yeah. has a forty inch vertical. I just feel like if he had Jaws, you jump at this dude to top touch the back at the top of the back. You just look better jumping like that when because you're, you're small. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Um, I like Russell Westbrook or Derrick Rose there. I'm okay with that. I I liked Russ at athleticism just because LeBron, I felt, is the most clutch player ever. Okay. And that's why I feel like that gap was not that okay. that big to me. But, I mean, you so, guys you guys let me know. So let's go clutch LeBron, then athleticism, uh, Russell Westbrook? 
you guys can argue because if you guys agree with that, that's the exact list that I had. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> that's, you guys, you guys do whatever. I'm good with that. Listen, this video is gonna ruffle feathers because everybody's like, "We good, we good, Jordan." It's like, listen, you can go look the numbers up statistically. Crunch time, last two minutes. Go ahead, buckets, game winners. LeBron wins. Proved it is it. what it is. You can watch a five minute clip. Of him just making clutch shots. Over I reposted and over again. it last week. <laughs> <laughs> I do the Lord's work, bro. You know the uh, meme with the swords up to the dude, and he's just like this. And it's like name like a take your argue to like the death. And even in LeBron's that, that's coach. not even showing LeBron's clutch passes that it kick out wide open mm-hmm. corner three. Dude even said he has more game winners than this. I just couldn't fit them all in this video. Hey, I mean he passed it to Ray Allen off the rim. That was crazy. <laughs> He's such a, he's plan. so ugly. <laughs> All right. I'm a LeBron fan. LeBron for clutch. And then Russell Westbrook for uh, athleticism. So is there anything you guys want to change from that? Because it's, I feel weird that it's the exact list that I have. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, so I feel like a lot of our lists were close. Similar. It's like me and you had one. Me and him had one. Yeah. Bro, we know ball. Of course we have similar lists. Wait till we get to our top 10 QBs list. See, like, that's why when we were, whenever we were, like, building it, there were so many more attributes you can put in there if you really wanted. Like, IQ, I'd put LeBron and then Jordan for clutch. Right. You know, like, if that was there. And then if you were going, like, physique or body, you could fucking put Giannis. Like, imagine that, dude. Right. No, going crazy. You give Bobon all <laughs> of those fucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, abilities. Bobon, yeah. I, w- I was going to say Wemby, but that motherfucker too skinny. <laughs> All right, so let, tell me if this is our best guard of all time. Best player. Best player. Fuck. Sorry. Tell me if this is our best player of all time. LeBron James. That's the list. <laughs> <laughs> like, <not> just like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> finishing, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Mid-range, Kevin Durant. Three-point shooting, Steph Curry. Dribbling, Kyrie Irving, right? That's who I have. Playmaking, Magic Johnson. Perimeter defense, Gary the Glove Payton. Clutch, look Captain America, LeBron, Raymond James. Athleticism, Westbrook, and interior defense, Hakeem Olajuwon. Nice. That's barbershop break rooms, perfect basketball player. Put somebody together, though, and see if you can put together, put together a better player. Without using any of the guys on our list. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's crazy. That's impossible. That's impossible. Athleticism, jaw, clutch, Kobe, perimeter D, Scotty, interior D. Duncan Robinson. Duncan uh, Robinson. <laughs> you mean Tim Duncan? <laughs> All right, boys. So listen, I want to just segue straight out of basketball. Let's get back to football. You know, some people love our football stuff. Some people hate it. I know Jordan's celebrating over there. Um, ED's cured. And, <laughs> my dude's like. <laughs> <laughs> NFL's a Viagra for me. <laughs> um, it's it's been a drug. long time since we've done a draft. And I think it's time to do one. Are we going straight to the draft? Yeah, I want to do the quarterbacks last. I feel like there's going to be the most banter. Can I uh, give a quick <clears throat> shout out real quick? Of course. Shout out Optic Gaming. All right, back <laughs> to Dante. Listen, wait. World champs, bro. Call of Duty world champs. That's all I got to say. All right, yeah. go on. Um, or are you going to have a drink? Shout out Shotzi, Pred, Kenny, Dashy. Huh? Not you. The gamer tag. Their no, name. Their duh, name. I said their name. Right, well, yeah, but down. Dante's nickname is Pred, so. You try to- <laughs> chill, chill, <laughs> chill. My name ain't Dylan. That's crazy. All right, so today's draft will be, we will be drafting the biggest busts and what ifs in NFL history. We're going to have five rounds. Same Snake. Time. Yeah, I'll do the thing real quick. Snake draft. All right, so there's one rule. You can only draft two quarterbacks. That's it. Oh my God! Look, it's pre-saved. Okay, so uh, Matt Jordan Dogs, the website. Um, while well, we're like waiting for Derek to do that, did you guys put any busts on yours? Yeah, I, have a lot I of just busts. put a bunch of what ifs. So there is a lot of what ifs that are busts. So like when we talked about what ifs, because like I don't count a player getting hurt as being a bust. So like when a dude yeah, that drafted had like one good year, that's a what if. I have a what if. Yeah, I don't have if. any busts. Like I didn't put Jamarcus Russell. Like oh, he should have been sweet. So I have Jamarcus Russell on my board because okay. he was in like one overall pick and he got paid like sixty million dollars. It's, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's weird to do bust trying. And what ifs. Well, that's why I did both because they can both they can be so like like my whole list is what if. So there's a person. I'll give you an example of a person that is a technically like a bust, 
and a what if. All right, Dante gets the first pick. Okay, so with my first pick. Not right now. You don't have to do it right now because I have to figure out who's going to be next. Okay, so like I think RG3 <laughs> is a bust. But and I don't a think he's if. a bust because he got hurt. Exactly. Yeah, it's you. Durability is a part of the game. So what, it's Dante, me, you? Yeah. But that's the thing. He got hurt, and he came back and played years after his injury. Yeah. He wasn't the same. Guys like Adrian Peterson came back the same season from a torn ACL. I guess I did put back – I put, like, for – I won't say a name, but for people that got hurt and then that caused them to, like, retire, right. I have injury slash retired. Right. Or, like, so, trouble slash retired, and then I just have other guys that are, like, injuries. Right. I mean, there's people that got drafted that just sucked, like Sam Darnold. And, and I have a guy that a I don't know. He if, never got hurt. I have a guy that I don't know if he counts. So Luke Keekley I mean, does well, not count. No, he played a long time. I did not have Luke Andrew Keekley. Luck does not count. I don't y- yes, he does. I don't think he I, counts. He I Andrew think, Cluck, Andrew I Luck think, is absolutely. He a, played a six years. I think it's a. He could have played twenty. I I think he should count as the as a. He's a what if? What I, if he played for fifteen? Okay, he, then Bo Jackson. I have him on here too. I mean, I, that was my first pick. I'm in Barry Sanders. I don't have Barry. Barry Sanders played eight seasons. He played nine. Calvin Which Johnson lifespan for uh, he played eight. I was looking at I thought about both of them, but their lifespans they say that they were cut short. They really only had a year or two left. I mean, by the average, but they retired in their primes. No, like from what I've read, because I didn't watch Barry. They said Barry like he was declining, but he probably still had one or two years left. He just decided to. I forego. think Andrew would be above Barry just for the fact he played quarterback and he threw thirty nine touchdowns and. 14 picks, whatever. But I have another guy. In like 4,500 yards. Like, dude, it's it's hard to determine what a what if is because there's guys that are still sweet that, like, what if they didn't have this this, happen and they were way sweet? We'll do this in the video and argue about who's counts. And then we'll, like, ask them, like, oh, should that count? So let's just just keep it. (laughs) With the first overall pick, I would like to select Bo Jackson. Okay. The biggest what if in NFL history, if you ask me. What if what? What if he didn't get his hip popped out of place? In the playoff game. What if he only chose to play football? True. And not do both. Who's the second yeah. overall pick? You? You Me. second? Jordy. Jordy second. I'll leave this guy off because he is considered like people think of him as all time great. So I'll I'll cancel him out. But we'll go with Ricky Williams. Okay. I'll allow it. Got kicked out because he was gonna fail. Well, he did, he retired because he was gonna fail his drug test and get suspended for two years anyway. Okay. Okay. Ricky Williams off the board. Dark. Um, one that hurt me. Two one, picks. Um, shit. Two picks, I know, that's, Shakur. That's, what, that's what's tough about it. You know what? With my first pick, this is my all-time favorite player. No way you're going with him first pick overall. No way you are going. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'll, I, I'll keep him later. I'm going to go Jamarcus Russell here. One of the biggest busts ever. Yep. Easy Number pick. one overall pick. Yep. Dude did not try. You look, you go on YouTube, look at any clips or like documentaries of Jamarcus. Damn, it's crazy. Dude did not care. It's crazy. Did not try. Throwing picks to everybody. Didn't even open playbooks or nothing. So I'll have Jamarcus as my first one. Second. Go ahead, do it. Pick him second. It's better second. Well, technically, are his fourth. initials JG? You yeah. already know who he wants, bro. I talked to him on the phone. I said, "Please don't take him." <laughs> He literally, I promise you, if, He's he didn't on take my him, list. if he didn't take him now, I was taking him next. <laughs> so, because I just don't want anyone else to have him. He's my favorite player. Give me Josh Gordon. One of the biggest what ifs. Only if he can stay off the weed. Oh, so two pot smokers that uh, um, had shaky <laughs> careers because Ricky of their weed. Josh. Josh. Weed guys. He had 1,600 yards in 14 games and nine touchdowns. Dude was a fucking dog. Back-to-back 200-yard games. Machine. And he had Brandon Whedon, fucking Jason Campbell, and who else throwing him the fucking ball? Was that McCown? Brian Hoyer? No. McCown? No, that wasn't McCown. Br- he had Pat Brandon Whedon, throwing Brandon, him the ball. Brandon Whedon, point. Brian Hoyer, and Jason Campbell. There you go. Okay. He yeah. got to play for both of the goats, Pat and, Mahomes and Tom Brady. And Johnny Manziel. Yeah. Okay. Another bus. <laughs> Jordy, next pick. Damn, he's not even on my list. He's on mine. I forgot about I him. I got Matt Browns said. on my list. So... With my second pick, I'm going to take Sean Taylor. Oh, didn't even think to go that route, but that's a great pick. I forgot. That's a great pick. I forgot about him, too. That's a great pick, Jordan. Wow. I'm proud of you. You Googled that? (laughs) (laughs) He Googled it. I Googled a lot of mine. I mean, I looked up, like, 
what players did before they, how long they played and shit, but I wasn't like biggest what ifs in NFL history. We're doing five, right? Yeah, we're going to do five. Because I'm not going to lie to you. I try to do biggest what ifs in NFL history, and they're like, what if the. The Browns fucking, drafted Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> yeah, what if the Chargers drafted Aaron Rodgers? Right. I'm like, or the Niners, that's who it was. Yeah. What if the Bears I'm like, well, that uh, doesn't fucking help moves. me because I can't say Aaron Rodgers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what if he your... got drafted here? <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> so, wait, is it me? It's you. Yeah. You okay, get back to back. Two, right? back, yep. to back. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to take a quarterback here. Um, you know what? No, I'm actually not going to take a quarterback. My next two picks, one is going to be a bust and the other one's going to be a what if. Um, I'm going to take Justin Blackman. You guys remember him from Oklahoma State? Yep, receiver. Animal. Jaguar Animal. goat. He actually had a really good year in uh in the NFL. I think his first year or maybe a second year, and then he just kind of I think he got like some DUIs or something like that, maybe. Um and then my third pick. Yeah, I'm just gonna take him now. Give me Sean Oakman. <laughs> mm. Give me Sean Oakman, bro. If that that skeezer would have never lied on him, who knows? Now listen, he could have sucked. He may have sucked for all I know. But we but all remember a, the picture. He's a what if? Well, we, I mean, he he was a fucking dog in college. Was he? Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't remember anything about him but the picture. He was going to get drafted. Do you remember the doubt. picture? Yeah. Yes. The, we all everyone know the knows the picture. It looked like he was wearing a jersey your size. People who never yeah. even watched football saw the picture. And was he like, was, oh, that, the, that ref was scared. <laughs> <laughs> I, all right. I didn't have he either of it. those guys on my list. It's like call heads, flips it, either lands on tails. I said tails. Yep, you said tails. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to receive or kick? <laughs> That's a fact. All right, Jordy. All right, with the third pick, I feel like I have a couple guys on here that I can let slide. That's where I was just at. Good luck letting them slide. <laughs> motherfucker. And there's one guy that, like, I... You motherfucker. I I'm right here. I heard he was super sweet back in the day. He had a Heisman. But... He had, Is there a word named after him? No. He had some shit... Some bad shit happened. <laughs> Some bad shit happened. Some bad shit. I'm going to take thinking? OJ. <laughs> this dude's insane. <laughs> no, you can't take OJ. Why can't I take OJ? He's a what if? What if he didn't kill that? <laughs> he played for a while. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. yeah he, I don't know how long he's he He's a Hall played. of Famer, basically. <laughs> All right, then I'll take Vince Young. That's a good one. Would you consider you think, him a bust or a what if? A what if he got hurt? He's a bust. You think Vince Young's a bust? I think he's a bust. I think Reggie Bush is a bust, too. Damn. I think they both are. All right. Reggie Bush has the most electric highlight tape in college besides Tavon Austin, and he didn't do anything in the NFL. Um, it's on me, right? It's on me, So baby. you guys were talking about this earlier. Andrew Luck count? You could take Andrew Luck. Uh, that's motherfucker. That's why I didn't take him. Okay, Andrew really? Luck does not count. You didn't take him because of that? I didn't take him because I didn't think he was going to count. Okay, then I Because Dante had a really strong what? argument against it. Motherfucker. Okay. So OJ we're, played 11 years. I hate you. I, I wasn't alive. <laughs> so let us know. Jordan and I both wanted to take Andrew Luck. Neither of us are going to take it just because, you know, we didn't know. But I honestly think Andrew Luck's a what if and also does Jordan. You guys let us know. I too. do think he's a what if, but I just feel like he played too long to put into that. Like after seven years, there's no like what if. We know who you are. He just okay. abruptly ended his career. Okay. Um, That kind of. Screwed the pooch out here. Yeah, I mean, so what if is kind of a very broad like term because I have a player that does have a what if, but he played great. He, people have him in like their, they love this guy. Everybody loved this guy. But he had some shit happen that like to me I think is like a what if. How great could he have been without that? Yeah, I mean, I, I consider what if like guys who ended up like their their career ended abruptly because of a situation, whether it be injury, jail, murder, that those type of things. We can only take two quarterbacks, right? Yes, you can only yeah. take two quarterbacks. Dude, I have so many good ones. I like I have so. one that I know you guys don't have, and it's fucking great. I Say wish I got then. back to back picks. But, Say it. No, nah, I think there's better quarterbacks too, but that one that one I can wait to last. Say it. No, nah, I, I, that's my that could be my last one. Um, Dude, my burps stink. Dude, I have a lot of fucking quarterbacks that I noticed. Yeah, quarterbacks are usually the first overall pick. That's why there's so many that are considered busts. I'm gonna go. I'm back. gonna go another bust, a wide receiver here that I think is a bigger bust than Justin Blackman. Okay. Charles Rogers. 
2003 second round pick. His career stats: 36 receptions, 440 yards, and four touchdowns. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Like as a second overall pick, that's yeah. what you did for your whole career. Yeah, it's like Corey that's, Coleman. That's one of the worst, worst busts that I've seen. Okay, as a skill player. Okay. Um, so I'll go Charles Rogers there. Ah, oh, fuck. What's this? Your fourth pick now? Yeah, this is my fourth. Are you gonna try to sneak that quarterback in last? Yeah, I can get the quarterback in last for sure. I already know it. I'm gonna try to read your mind and take him. Um, there's no way. Telepathy. If you do, it's crazy. Uh, because we talked about some on the phone, and I know we didn't talk about this guy. This next one, you guys let me know he did play a decent amount. Sterling Sharp. He was mm-hmm. 29 years old. Uh, he had neck injuries. He was seven years in the league. He was a wide receiver. But that year that he got hurt, he had 1,100 yards, 19 touchdowns. Mm-hmm. I, and and the reason for this, the what if, is because everyone's saying he's not a Hall of Famer because he didn't play long enough. Right. So that's why I would put him as a what if because I think he would be a fucking Hall of Famer. I think so he should be a Hall of Famer. If I didn't allow Andrew Luck and you they played the same amount one? of time, that's the only reason why. Okay. Now, I do both your reasons for both. Like I, Andrew Luck is definitely a what if. I just think he just played so long that it's just like okay. – you know, and then Sterling Sharp, he is 100% a what-if. He would be a for-sure Hall of Famer. Like Shannon Sharp said in his speech, I shouldn't even be the one up here. My brother should be up here. All right. Um, with that one, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal one of yours then. Um, you. Give me the beautiful, bald running back. You bitch. Trent Richardson. You bitch. My dog. Uh, you know, he, was, he just wasn't very good. Yeah, he's a bust. Yeah. He had like two good years. That was about it. And, I mean, his first year, stat-wise... Yards and touchdowns, sure, but he was averaging like three point three yards a carry. Yeah, he was just a workhorse. That's not very. Yeah. That's not very good. So I'll get give me Trent. Jordy. So I feel like I have two guys that once Dante goes, he's not going to take either of them. So I could go one of two ways. Okay. But to start, I think I'm going to go with Icky Woods. Icky Woods. Who the hell is that? Am I about he's to get roasted back, again? A running back from Cincinnati. Okay. The Icky Shuffle. That's him. His first season, rookie year, 1988, he rushed for 1,000 yards, never eclipsed 300 after that. Oh, he got man. hurt every year, played three more seasons, and then retired. I okay. think that that would be a what if. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what happened, what injury he had, but I know he got hurt, tore something up in his knee, I'm pretty sure, and then the Bengals just kind of moved on. Okay. Nick Chubb would be the greatest running back of all time if he didn't fucking have that shit happen in college and in the NFL. <laughs> That's a fact. Do you want to throw that in there? All right, I got two picks here, right? He's my last two. last two. Yep. Mr. Sean Open. All right. No quarter. You have yet to have a quarterback. Yep. Here's the quarterback pick. All right. So I'm going to take a quarterback here. I'm going to take Ryan Leaf. Okay. Ryan Leaf is widely regarded as the biggest bust of all time. Well, my boy get addicted to painkillers, I think it was. Yeah. White boy's going crazy. Yeah, he was. Um, I I have another dude I want to take, but I don't want people to think I Googled it. I actually never heard of this dude before, and I was sitting at home. You got one me day. scared for a second because you've definitely heard of the guy that I was going to see. Is he a lineman? No. Okay. I was a quarterback. So I was watching, um, I think it was um, not outside the line. Oh, I know who you're talking about now. Uh, Mandarich is his last mm-hmm. name, and he played for Green Bay. He ended up getting on roids and stuff like that. I wanted to take yeah. him. No, nah, bro, he was crazy. Like that documentary is good as hell, bro. It is pretty good, but I'm not going to take him. I'm going to take Ryan Leaf. Take the take another quarterback. Do I take another quarterback? I think I know who you're talking about. I'm not gonna take him. That dude was electric. You know, for the culture, actually, there's two of them that were electric. For the culture, I'm, I'm about. gonna take Johnny Manziel as my last pick. I was thinking RG three. I, I have RG three on there, but like Jordan was, he was like, like, he was I like have RG three as an honorable. Mention. Yeah, because I'm he's like a fan favorite. He yeah. wasn't as crazy as Johnny in college. Right. Um, I'm gonna go Johnny, man, because Johnny was a detriment to himself. His like RG threes was injury. That's what ended up ultimately taking him out. He was a shell of himself after that. Didn't want to run the same. Johnny just, you remember they asked him, they're like, so did you view anything on the iPad? And he was like, they were like, no tape. He was like, nope. Zero. <laughs> that, that's crazy. What they, they said, yeah. how much How much film did you watch? And he just went, <laughs> he didn't even say anything. He just. <laughs> Motherfucker was yep. Jamarcus Russell reincarnated. Yep, give me Johnny, bro. Yep, I'm taking Johnny. If I couldn't have Jamarcus, give me Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. My last I'm pick. surprised he went that deep. <clears throat> Pause. <laughs> All Diddy. All right. So with my last pick, I do want to give 
I'll wait till Derek goes. To we'll do some honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Yeah, 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 we'll do some. Honorable so mentions. I don't think you're gonna choose my last one. Well, my last one, I'm gonna take Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman. Okay, it's a great one. America. Retired to go. It's perfect time. Go to the military, actually. then got killed. Yep. What a patriot Taking you are, Pat bro. Tillman. It's crazy to think that you once kneel for the flag, but you pick Pat Tillman. That's pretty crazy. That's yeah, it is, bro. Every time he walked in the barber shop that whole month with the Colin Kaepernick, he would kneel. Yeah, kneeling in the yeah. middle of the barber shop. I'm like, stand up, bro. You get hair all over your knees. <laughs> what <are> you doing? <laughs> yeah, that cat's crazy. Um, this last one, people might roast me for this one, but just give it a couple years because he's still in the league. Trey Lance. Trey Lance. Ah, as soon as you said that, I knew. Twelfth overall pick. And they sent three first round picks to Miami, yeah. 2021, 22, yep. 23, along with the 2022 third round pick for Trey Lance. Yep. And what did he do for that Niners team? He played two games, one game. He maybe? did nothing. I think he played two games. Of course. No, nah, he played more. Than they that. were fine without him, but to still give up that much. And that dude gave you. Yeah. What Johnny Manziel did studying. <laughs> yeah. He got drafted 12th overall to back up a mediocre quarterback. Oh, God. We got to talk about that. Wait, in San Fran or Cowboys? <laughs> Speaking of quarterbacks, we'll get there next. We got, give me your... Let's go uh, some honorable mentions. We'll so, go. Can I hit my... Let me do a back-to-back with an honorable mention. Go ahead. Just kidding. Sterling Sharp was going to be that, but we already did him. Yours. Sorry. <laughs> so I had a few other people. Now, the one guy that I didn't know if it would count because he does have a what-if career, but he's still great, is Mike Vick. What if he didn't go to jail I thought for, about him. Well, the Mike Vick ended up having, having dog in him. Um, no, Mike Vick ended up having like one of his best years after um, after the dog. Nah, because like, Andy like, Reid. But how yeah, good but, I mean, would he have he been? Still played yeah, because well. he he did one of these. Like he did up and then stop and yeah. then back up again. Yeah. What if he could have just continued like, to what, incline? What his so like that like. was kind of the why I was like, what if? I mm-hmm. wouldn't allow you to draft him, but I do like um, the honorable mention. Wouldn't have allowed it. And then I have Ryan Shazier. Oh, that's, that's a, good, a one. good one. That's a good one. I didn't one. draft him because I didn't want to sound like a homer, but you I have are. Shaz on there. Just be who you and are. And then I have Brian Bosworth on there as well. Don't even know who that is. What about like Manti Teo? Maker. What if his girlfriend was real? Would he play <laughs> yeah. better? Yeah. Maybe spit that's all over what if. <laughs> you think that was the thing? Oh, and uh, Aaron Hernandez. Oh God! You that's can't tell crazy. me. You can't tell me he's not a what if. Nah, though. he is a what if. I just didn't think of him. how great Gronk like did. I, I know you're laughing. It's funny, but like, think of how great Gronk was. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's sad, actually. It's funny. He said up. it's funny. It's not funny. We, we all just know it's sad. It's funny that like I just threw his name out there. Everybody's laughing, but <laughs> like for real, Nobody's Gronk laughing. did so good with Tom Brady, the goat. Imagine if you had Gronk and Aaron Hernandez for that whole run. Two yeah, great tight ends. That's a crazy what if. Yeah. 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 No, I'm with you. Honestly, that was all, I think that's everyone on my list we all mentioned. I'm going to be honest. You blew it, bro. You should have drafted him. Yeah. I tried uh, to take OJ, but it wasn't allowed. Uh, my honorable mentions. Um, I think I have, is better than OJ. I have Sam Darnold not as, a player. as a bust, not a what if. Yeah. I have uh, Brady Quinn as a bust. Yeah. Um, Herschel Walker. Yeah. Herschel Walker is a bust. Well, yeah. Well, for how much they traded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They gave up the farm. That's like for the him. Trey Lance. It's like thing. the biggest trade in NFL history. It's like the Trey Lance thing. Yeah. Too. No, bro, they gave up like 11 uh, picks or something crazy yeah, like that. Yeah, pretty bad. Um, I put Jeff Okuda on there, my, one of my Ohio State Buckeyes. I think he was picked in the top five, maybe. I did see a couple of lists of Justin Gilbert being in there. Justin I did, I have Justin I did, Gilbert next. I didn't see Jeff Okuda in there. So I organized quarterback, running Jeff back, Okuda wide still receiver has in the defense. Time. It's over. It's over. He's still in the lead. It's over. Justin Gilbert ain't So is Trey Lance. Yeah, but quarterback's different. <laughs> he ain't starting. Jeff Akuda still starts. He, he still gets on the again. field. He still, well, I mean, he still plays. And then I had Reuben Foster on there too, but that one was kind of like a stretch. The Niners. Yeah. And then, oh, my last one for quarterbacks. I remember my dude talking about there was 11 mistakes or 10 mistakes made before him. Josh Rosen. <laughs> oh, I forgot about I forgot about him. Josh Rosen's a bust, bro. That dude was terrible. Josh Rosen is a bust. But um, speaking of a uh, quarterback so bust, well, many. I did have one more. Hit me. I didn't put him on my list, but I had Percy Harvin on there. I don't know much about his career. I know he got hurt a lot. Nah, he, like, he uh, played a lot. A lot of people were saying like when he was on the field. Oh, he was electric. He was, but he Randy Moss, up. but he couldn't stay on the field. Yeah, he played a lot though. I don't yeah. about the Randy well, Moss he played, he So he played. <laughs> he, I mean, he was better as. He played three return. years, almost the whole season. He missed, I don't, what was it, 16 games in 2010 probably. Mm-hmm. So he missed two games in 2010, played 15 and 09, 14 and 11, then 9, 1, 13, 8, 5, 5, 2. Yeah, I mean, he still played a lot, though. He played a lot, but yeah. not like, he played like two games, five Yeah, he games. missed like, a lot, that's though. That's bad. I'm looking at him right now. I mean, he did. He got a lot of playing time in some of them, but then, like you said, there was a lot of years to where he wasn't. I'm looking at what 
When we see you could Bradford. definitely tell looking first at round twenty second overall, so that is high for a receiver. Mm-hmm. And looking at his pro football reference, you can tell where he's started to get hurt. But like you can literally watch his decline on there. What did help him was that the return, the mm-hmm. return game is what elevated him. Yeah, he wasn't Bowl. a great receiver. Yeah. He was good. They he was a, a um, return specialist. No, he was what do they call those receivers? Um, he was gadget, a gadget guy. Gadget, there we go. Yeah. yeah, he was a gadget guy. Like you Tavon could like Austin. you weren't throwing downfield to him, you know? Tavon Austin. Yeah, exactly. And Tavon mm-hmm. Austin didn't really like Hey, they throw downfield to Tyreek. Why couldn't they do it with them? Tyreek is a different same type of player. Anyway, yeah, but didn't Jalen Ramsey say that like Tyreek's just a returner, he ain't worried about him? He did say a return specialist, and now he's the second best receiver in the league. <laughs> yeah. First. So, Anyways, so there was a list that came out a couple weeks ago, and uh July fifteenth to be exact. Who has it the was biggest meat on barbershop break room? Me. Um, it was the top 10 quarterbacks voted by <laughs> NFL execs, coaches, and scouts. Not me. Still Dante. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> the other half. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I hope you guys can't hear this. They oh, can. they can. <laughs> I know. So I disagree with this list. That's why we're doing this today. So their top 10 was Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Matt Stafford, Justin Herbert, C.J. Stroud, Aaron Rodgers, Jared Goff, and Dak Prescott. So I thought it would be fun for us to do our own top 10 quarterbacks. And I think we all have the same guy as one. So I feel as though we're okay to just go to Yeah, we don't have to talk about two. Justin Herbert being first. Well, Shut up. For just TikTok's sake. Let's just do, you know, you say you have Mahomes, he has Mahomes, I have Mahomes. Yep. Just for, okay. you know, put it on him first, then you, then me, just so we can do that. Bet it up. Go ahead. I know. <laughs> I know, he says. So first, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time already, Patrick Lamar Mahomes. All right. Is that his middle name? No, I just it's, made that up. His middle right. name's Kermit. Shut up, man. Yeah. I also have Pat Mahomes first. Let's see what his middle name is. I got I got the greatest quarterback of all time, Patrick Mahomes, here at number one also. What do you think it is? Take a guess. Leroy. Damn. I was close. You were too, Loki. No, I was sucking around. With I Leroy. swear to God. You got, it's LaVon. <laughs> oh, my God. I swear to God. I it's like Le- yours. It's but but you got to think, though. It's his dad's name. Yeah. And his dad, Ghetto. So, like, it makes sense. I can know. I can say that. You can't. But, yeah. All right. You guys both almost got the same middle name. His just with an L, yours with a S or a C H. Just with a C, yeah. C H. Yeah, Siobhan. Yeah. Damn, whole government names out here. Gang gang. All right. So number two, who do we have? Want me to go first? Yeah, you go the same you, order. You, you. I have uh Josh Allen. Ooh. I have Josh Allen second. I have him farther down. Okay. Uh I have Lamar too. Ooh. You put some respect on a black quarterback, finally. Oh, my God. I disagree with you, but that is what's up. Um, I'm proud of you, bro. You've been racist for a long time, and you've been delivered. Jared took over, bro. Actually. You also have Lamar. I have Lamar, too, also. Damn, yo, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, I swear to God. All right, oh, so I got Dante, Lamar second. So no, nah, I can't be the only person no, on this. No, I can't be the black dude. Yeah, you can't. Don't tell me what I can't do, bro. Can't, Another can't white man telling a black man what he can't do. <laughs> this is America, guys. You have to uh, update it for the top 25. I got Lamar second. So. <laughs> no, nah, I'll keep Josh out yeah, second. Yeah, I got Lamar. I have Back-to-back MVPs. Whatever. All right, third. Even though he might not have deserved it. Who do you got third? <laughs> Joe Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be waiting a while to hear his name on my list. Buddy. Oh, you oh, this was about to be good. All right, who you got third? Josh, Josh Allen. Allen. Yeah, I got Josh Allen third. I got Josh Allen third as well. So me and Jordan are are all the same right now. All right, me and Josh Allen. I I am scared about Josh Allen this year though. Yeah, yeah. I am too. It was hard. Uh, I didn't know for sure, but I was trying to think just pure quarterback. Yep. When they trade for Brandon, you'll see. Take I am, the team out of it. Just pure quarterback. See, I, I okay. Go on. I, I think I fucked up my list, but we'll go. We'll, we'll fix right. it. We'll mess with it. Um, fourth, I have Lamar Jackson. I have uh, CJ Stroud. Ooh, I respect it. Um, you really messing with black quarterbacks, bro. So originally I did I have, have CJ Stroud here, but I put Justin Herbert at four. You tripping. Justin Herbert at four. Tripping. Is Herbo in your top ten? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he is. Um, okay. As pure quarterback, he's a dog. All right. 
broken ribs throwing fucking dimes in the fourth quarter to come back. Fifth, I have one, CJ Shroud. I have one, Justin Herbert. Okay, I mean, we back to back. Did y'all just like copy and paste each other's list? I, I have CJ, I have CJ Stroud here. too. So I have CJ Stroud at five. And I wanted CJ at four and I was like, ah, no, nah, I'm going to put him down one because he was a rookie last year. One more we'll year. One more yeah, year. the he, one more year thing. He might end up second. So me and now. Jordan are five for five within the top five. That's crazy. Why, I might as well just leave. Yeah. All right. Do you know ball? Yeah. Six, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Six, Aaron Rodgers. Damn. 40 year old? Listen, I looked at it like this. Who do I want to start next year with at the helm for me? He'd be your sixth guy to go with? He would be my sixth guy to go with. Like, I looked at the people behind him. I'm taking him going into that season over those guys. Yes. Hopefully he just doesn't run out with the American flag again. (laughs) Don't. don't, Hopefully their game won't be on a certain date. (laughs) You can say it. That's crazy. All right, Jordan, what's yours? (laughs) Never forget. Um, Are we on six? Six. Six. Six, Jordan Love. Ooh, okay. Um, six, I have another J, but it's Joe Burr. Joe Burr, uh, six. I am scared, though. As a pure quarterback, when he's healthy, I think he's a little higher. But the thumb injury does scare me, and the offense that he has also does scare me. So I kind of contradicted myself with putting Josh Allen at three and uh, Joe Burrow at six. But we're going to Yeah, I mean, it. when you think about that, and like now I'm looking at my list, I'm like, yeah, maybe I did my list wrong. Yeah, because like, there's so many ways back to do bit. this list. Yeah. You're like going into next year. If I need to win one game into the future, yeah. who do I just think Who's is the better on their team? Yeah, yeah like ah. so. Maybe I, we won't do this, guys. Are right, we just gonna exit? No, I'm just playing. Yeah. I'm just playing. I got Joe at six. All right, uh, seventh. I have Justin Herbert. A little farther down, but it's all right. Herbo's a little overrated for me. Damn, he's there, but he's just like you just don't do it. I know you. You've been saying that. I have. Uh, Aaron Rodgers here. Okay. Sorry, flippy floppy. I have Aaron Rodgers also at number seven. (laughs) You guys are... He's a dog. You guys are... Same wavelength, brother. I see. Bro, this is the same top ten I made two months ago when we did the wide receiver one. Well, I know you guys aren't going to have this guy where I have him. Uh, You definitely won't. I might. Eight. He's changing it. Okay. I've changed a couple. Of I think we both we have the same at number eight. Say it. We Dak might, Prescott. Yep. We all have the same at number eight. You, you, have, you have them too? Oh, you, we all I got have, Dak at eight? I have you Dak at eight. Okay. And I, I have Dak at eight as well. Okay. All right. Nine. Jared Goff. Mm, he didn't make the top ten for me. Ooh. He didn't make it for me either. What? No. I have Jalen Hurts at nine. So two J's. I'll give you a third J, but a different name. Give me Jordan Love. Okay. Second half, Jordan Love looked like a dog, and he's going to have a better offense this year. Slipped a little bit in your list compared to mine, but... I know, it's all right. Mine, too, because 10th, I have Jordan Love. All right. And 10th, just because of the fear of how he's going to be, I have Joe Burrow. Wow. Joe Burrow is the 10th best quarterback. I, I let him slide season. because they had to take... Dude, they took a ligament from his left wrist. That's and why put I have him a little right. lower. What did you just call me? A ligament? I thought you called me a ligament. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna, that's what I thought he said. They took the, they took one from his left wrist and put it in his right. We're gonna <laughs> see how that shit goes. I never learned that in chemistry. <laughs> yeah, um, never heard about one of those. You looking at one? So this guy, <laughs> real number, one. <laughs> this guy at number ten, I feel like I just have to put there, despite he has a fucking insane offense. Because we've had this argument last year. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy at number ten. It's it's hard to justify and look at him when he has a crazy offense around him. You Initially, have no clue. I had Brock Purdy in my list, and then I was like, "No, he if you if you take him off of his team, you can't do that." I know you can't do I that. Know. That's what I was trying not to. You do. can't do that. I'm trying to look at him as a pure quarterback. I don't think that I would take him over any of the ten I have ahead of him. Okay. Hey. None of us had fucking Matt Stafford like ESPN did. Yeah, that's. I what, don't know why Matt Stafford. No offense to Matt Stafford. They had him fifth. Yeah, that's a, the he's fifth good. best quarterback going into next season. Matt Stafford's probably right outside with Purdy. I didn't have him in my For top fifteen. For me, at least, it's probably Goff, Purdy, Stafford's. I there. had the next five not in order, but Tua, Goff, Russell Wilson, Jalen Hurts, Baker Mayfield. Mine's a little different. That's not in order, but I that's like have, I don't have mine yet. That's like a range. 10. Purdy, Hurts, Tua, Mayfield. Yeah. 
Am I, I mean, a that's, hater for letting Tua slide like real far? He might yeah. be like 15. Yeah. I mean, that's like the same thing with the Brock Purdy thing. You can't discredit him for having Tyreek and Jalen right. Waddle and all the speedy guys. Yeah. Well, yes. I'm not discrediting him for that. I'm discrediting him because he's for, uh, for underthrowing and being hurt all the time. Damn. Everybody underthrows, bro. I mean, I'm sure. I I'm sure it's probably hard to not underthrow Tyreek Hill, but I mean, he Pat we Mahomes did Pat it in the Super. Well, yeah. He did it in the Super Bowl. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. Pat Mahomes, Pat Mahomes the goat. So. Yeah, I agree. You guys got anything you want to add before we get out of here? I feel like that was a pretty good episode. Pretty productive. Got some stuff done. Kept it simple, sweet, to the point. I, had to, I got nothing for me. Shout out to him, and like I said, dogs. Right. <laughs> Why did you? I was about to say something. Why and didn't then you I just remind me of to. Alan from The Hangover <laughs> when, when, when my dude, uh, who was it, uh, well, Bradley Cooper's character, mm-hmm. when he went to go give the speech on the roof, and he's like, you know, guys, he goes, ah, I've got something to say. <laughs> he joined <me> like <laughs> head back. <laughs> he's like, shit. <laughs> Nothing. Don't say it. You don't want to. No, I was going to talk about the UFC a little bit, but I don't know if you guys watched the. Fights. I did not watch, unfortunately. I watched, I watched a little bit of it, starting at. Patty, I watched. Yeah, I didn't watch it this time. Patty's the real deal. Hey, I told you, I like him. You He's, don't like him. I I needed him to get through a test. That like was his test. A Bobby really Green. Good, I think Bobby Green was a a very good He's seasoned the, fighter. He's the gatekeeper for him. Yeah, he got through. And I think during the fight, they said Bobby Green's never been submitted in the octagon. Patty was that the first one to submit him. Yeah. So like for him to do that to a guy like Bobby Green, that's a uh, He's legit. Well, Bobby Green also probably fucking needs to relax fighting so many fucking times and how many years. I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> but yeah, I it was a good card. I didn't watch the Patty fight, but I watched the, well, the next two after that. If you ask Dana White, it was not a good card. Dana White's pissed about it. I don't know if you've seen his interviews. He said, this really? card right here is the reason that the fight bonuses will never get upped again. They will be at 50000 for the rest of time. So what was wrong with the heavyweight and the welterweight? What Dana White is such team? a bitch. I don't know. He is such he said, a bitch. I think he said because he is, he was allegedly. He is. No, he's a bitch. <laughs> he is. I can't stand Would you get the octagon White, with him? Nah. Will you say that to his face? He's thick. Okay, what? He's a thick dude. Okay. But yeah, like what I, what I say to his face, yeah. Yeah, he built like a garden now. <laughs> yes, bro. Yeah, dude's built like a tall boy. Yeah. <laughs> he has about like a 24 ounce beer. He looked beer. like this Pepsi, Pepsi bottle. Yeah. I'm going to say I watched it late, but the Tom Aspinall Curtis Blades fight was quick. Like it was very quick. You can't I, really, like, I don't know. You can't say that was a terrible. It's hard to dissect. Yeah. It's just a quick. Just was, yeah, right. we're just gonna it's like go fucking out Conor McGregor knocking out Jose Aldo for yeah. the belt. Like, you can't. Oh, was be that like, fast? That was like. Oh, no. It wasn't that. It was first no, round. No, no, it, it was that one fast. minute into the first yeah. round, though. Oh, okay. But still, as like. You can't be like that was a terrible fight. It's just he got him. Like uh, yeah, there wasn't yeah. much exchange. I, I mean, guess Alex is what Perry like knocked out. Uh, Leon and Bilal was good. That was a good fight. I feel like it was wrestling. A good fight. Yeah, I think <laughs> that might be why Dan that's White probably, was like. But that's the thing. You he's know, like that's it, why it's that's why people wrestle too. Yeah, that's why you grapple. Well, he that's had how you said win fights until he, he said it doesn't over. matter whether the fight bonus is fifty k or five hundred k. It just seems to not really make the fighters want to go out there and fight more. So that's why he was like, we'll just leave it at 50K. He's like, I have seen no difference in the quality of a fight between 50K, 300, 100, whatever I bump it to. He's like, I've seen no difference. They should give a blood bonus. Like if you're make if you can make the other person bleed, you get like an extra ten k. Bro, or did you? It's actually a fire idea. So did you're you? Not gonna watch, lie to you, I really like that idea. Did you watch like till the very end of the Leon Edwards? That's fight? That's what I'm saying. That's bro, what brought he it to split my... his nose for no reason. I mean, he was gonna lose the fight unless he knocked him out yeah. there. But dude, there was what ten seconds left, and Leon Edwards just fucking, I mean, gashed this open. dude's nose wide open. I mean, if you dude look after the math of the fight, you're like, oh, Leon probably whooped his ass. No, yeah. He just got the No, the he last got one elbow of, that yeah. opened his ass up. Damn. That was it. But That's crazy. I was like, Jesus Christ. Um, did you see Aspinall's idea for the heavyweight title? Yeah, do you want to go in did on Did you see it? his yeah. interview? He said that he thinks to give John Jones the fight against Stipe, it should be a tournament. He said it should be me and Alex Pereira. We fight. Stipe and John Jones fight. And then in the same night, this was his idea. Same same night tournament. That's crazy. The winners of both fight for the title. That's crazy. That's how the UFC was founded. That's crazy. They did that. Yeah, it was all one day. It was just a one day year. 
not that not black what, and late white. 90s early yeah, 2000s it wasn't that long I, ago. I didn't i wasn't saying like 1960s bro <laughs> yeah. his guy said it wasn't black and white tvs i was no, talking about I, that long ago in the 90s bro that was different you could close on dude going to the basketball hoop in the nineties. You see one nineteen ninety three. Yeah, bro. It was I was born in ninety three, bro. For all the people who think I'm a Gen Z, you I was born in ninety three, bro. It was different times back then. They stopped doing tournaments after UFC seventeen. Damn. Um, what I do think, though, no matter how they determine if John Jones is going to fight, because. Right now, it's kind of a shitty spot. John Jones and Stipe were supposed to fight. Neither one of them are getting any younger. Years ago. Stipe especially. I mean, he's a foot out the door in the UFC already. He's saving house people out of house fires and shit yeah. right now. It's, it's a shitty spot for John Jones to be in because he technically still has the title, but Aspinall is the interim champ until John Jones can come back. So as of right now, when John Jones is healthy, he gets the immediate fight with Aspinall. Immediate. No questions asked he fights Aspen. i'm not gonna lie i like that i like his idea just not in the same day i do like his yeah, idea bro the same day is crazy so because it is rough. what i do think though i understand the prayer of fight i think you got to leave alex out of it for right now you alex, need, yeah does alex want to do it <laughs> you need to let john jones fight stipe so i realistically it should be john jones and aspinall as soon as john jones is healthy those two fight Unify the belt on whoever, whether it's Aspen or whether it's Jones. After that, the very next fight that needs to happen, no matter who has the belt, no matter what happens, Jones Stipe is and Jones Pierre Stipe and Aspinall. And I was going to take Alex out of it for now, still, but just have Jones because Stipe. it's one one. If if Aspinall he... wins the belt, yeah, I think that. Oh, you okay? You did. If say Aspinall this. wins the belt, you said this. I think that he should fight Alex. If Alex can win a fight in the meantime while we're waiting, if he loses the belt, he should get it. Should go Curtis Blades, John Jones. If he loses to John Jones, Curtis Blades again. It's one one. Both have won Trilogy. with a knockout in the first round. Yeah, and then there's going to be you, you need. A, I need a third one in the first. Round. I need a third one. <laughs> they might as well just do that next. Even week. if they knock each other out in they a minute in the first week. round, <laughs> I don't give a shit. We need a third one of Aspinall and Blades. Yeah, I just, you you can't leave that untouched when they both have a win inside the first round by knockout. I Even agree. though I, I'm not gonna say it was an early stoppage in the Blades Aspinall fight. I'm not one of those people, but Blades was still with it. I he wasn't knocked out. They, I don't know. I don't know if I texted you or my guy Tommy saying that like it didn't look like he was that stunned mm -mm. when he got hit, and I'm like. I, I did feel a little weird about the stoppage. I'm like, of course, I don't think that he it, went flat, and that's as soon as you know. Yeah, he but look, it. look what happened to um, what's my dude, uh, Aljamain Sterling. Yeah, yes. like it's yeah. It's all about the ability I think to the defend one, yourself. I know. You know, I don't think that fight should have been stopped. Like, I think he was repositioning himself, but yeah. they always say it's like your inability to defend yourself is why they stop it. I mean, the biggest thing because Blaze wasn't. He didn't move up or didn't move until he the ref eventually stopped it. And that's what but sucks. It, it sucks. I think the ref was just in a bad spot. I don't think that necessarily he made a good or bad call. He was in a tough spot and made the call he thinks he needs to make. I'm not going to discredit him for that. He's the fucking UFC referee. I'm on a podcast. But... His job ain't that hard. The punch, I don't <laughs> think that the punch really, like... I don't think it knocked out. It stunned. It wobbled. I don't think it did anything two blades but that's what i was confused about. knock him off his center yeah back. like he just lost his balance that's what it looked and like and then he went down and the part that's really shitty and i'm sure I, I can't say i'm sure but if i was the ref when i call the fight and blades sits up and he's like like dude there was nothing he had nothing wrong with him he was sitting there going fuck like he was pissed that he lost but he was like well now he was fine here's the he thing he wasn't like getting up all fucking punch drunk yeah. and shit he was fine so it's a shitty spot he wasn't defending himself, but he really wasn't getting fucked up. Well, that's why I'm, you got to put the blame on Blades a little bit. You have to know in that situation, even if you lose your center of balance, even if you get knocked over, whatever, and they get on you, he's on your back and he's throwing hammers. You got to one, at least put your hands up to defend. And then you got to make some sort of move to advance yourself to get out of that position. Well, Derek, you, he's a heavyweight. I'd, he ain't moving. Start crazy. a roll. Start trying to yeah, get up. You got, you got to try something. It did look like he kind of 
gave, gave up. up. That's what I'm saying. You got to at least show some sort but, of initiative, and like he just did it too late. Yeah. And I don't even think he showed initiative. I think it was literally the ref came in and was like, all right, we're done. And he was like, I think he showed it like as soon as it got done, you saw him, his back just get straight up. Yeah. And I was like, well, if he did that like a second earlier, I don't think he would have stopped. Yeah. Because he he didn't have his hands up. I'm not going to say like, oh, he was, he was trying to defend him. No, he wasn't. He was just laying there on his fucking stomach. But Aspinall wasn't fucking him up. He was punching the shit out of him. Yeah. But Curtis Blades, I guess, has the chin of. Jesus Christ himself, because when, <laughs> when dude got like when Aspinall got off and the ref called it, Blades was like, "Fuck, dude, yeah. I was ready to go for another one." Like, yeah. he's like, "I was still cool." That's I, I think that fighters sometimes they they give themselves the benefit of the doubt on how well their chin is, and I think that's what he kind of got caught doing was like, "I know I can take these punches, so just give me a couple seconds." And the ref was like, "Nah, you can't. Show, I'm not yeah. giving you those ta- those seconds." It, it's just because you can as a ref squat. it's like yeah you have to protect them it looks I like he's it. not doing it, anything yeah it, it looks, looks like he's, just like laying he's there. getting fucked up <laughs> yeah. bad so now, that, did you see bobby green was unconscious before patty put him in the armbar he was out before the armbar from the triangle at least he didn't feel it that's <laughs> <laughs> crazy that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. crazy <laughs> he's at least but they he showed did. like the replay and uh i forget who was commentating it was daniel john and was it bisbing yes okay bisbing because I'm not gonna I lie, I, was, listened, I watched it without sound. So, so I think it was Man, Bisbing what? that said um, yeah. he was like, "I think that Bobby was out before the armbar, and they showed the replay. I was zoomed in, out. and this dude was fucking sleeping. And then Patty was like, "Give me your arm." <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he was out, and the ref still didn't stop it. You got to keep, uh, you got to break that dude's fucking arm. Yeah, I think we need to plan ahead more. Let us know in the comments if you liked anybody that tuned in for UFC. when we did the live stream for the ufc yeah i had fun doing it yeah i don't know if you did yeah, yeah. i want to do it i next think time. that like not the fight nights and stuff he but like invite me. yeah the big ooh, cards big <laughs> the o'malley fight mm-hmm. um the first one in the sphere i think we need to do that let's do that it. fight what i need a uh, like a webcam <laughs> i mean yeah we did or you could use your phone yeah use your phone just, just go on Discord. Nah, i should be getting hot when we used to do our live streams boy I would oh, pick I up my phone after. Oh, I know. Dog. It's hot. Get two phones. No, nah, my on, wife Kevin. think I'm cheating. One for the plug and one for the yeah, My wife would think I'm cheating if I have a second phone. No way. Just take the then. shop phone. Just, just cheat then. Just Fuck cheat it. Lean in. Your phone. <laughs> then you're good. Don't watch this, babe. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just joking. take the shop phone home for it. We'll figure it out. But I think it. before All you need is Discord. You can get it on your... Uh, I have it. In my car. I have your USB thing for your mouse. Appreciate you. I put through it in my car. Before we end it, Dana White... Definitely do a, a a blood bonus to where if you inflict dam- damage to where they do start bleeding, give them a bonus for it. That'll uh, force some of the wrestlers to maybe want to stand in Bane a little bit, you know? Or throw some strikes while they're down there, at least. I do like that idea. That's a really One of good the idea. One two, because that's going to give you some initiative to make the fight look exciting. Yeah. Instead of... What do you think about uh, Marab being champ? Him being champ? What do you mean? Like, what? what's your opinion on it? Who should he fight next? Should Usman get another shot back at the belt? Bilal Muhammad, not Marab. Or, yes, yes, okay. yes. So I'm like, he's fighting Sean Bilal. O'Malley. He's not champ. No, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I was that's talking about. Like, Sean O'Malley, O'Malley fucked me all up. Um, Bilal. Man, he almost lost to fucking Wonderboy. Give Wonderboy the chance, brother. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it was a... I don't know. I really don't know who you give the... You could give Usman another shot. Because you can't just give Edwards another, like, back to I think if Usman fights him, Usman beats Bilal. I yep. think he's he, way better on the ground and grappling Usman than, than Leon. should still have the belt. I think he should still have the belt, too. He lost the belt on a fluky head kick. Yeah. I don't know if it's you fluky, but he was whooping ass. Okay, okay. Bro, he got kicked in the head. I mean, you, you can't, can't call it say, a fluke. That's you why. can't say it was a luck. You can't say it was a fluke. But he Usman got to learn to take the gas pedal off. You were winning, bro, bad. Back the fuck up and defend. Yep. For... Five minutes. Be a, be a defender. Be a counterpuncher. Yeah. You got to you gotta be great at doing that. When you have the lead, when you know you have it, if you keep pressing, that's when you get caught. Yeah. And that's what did fucking you, Leon did. Did you see uh, Bilal slam Edwards on his head? Oh, bro. That scared me. It scared me, too. I, I, looked said, like he, I didn't notice his ball spot until after that, so first, I thought maybe he got fucked up from it. He got a forearm in his gooch, which probably didn't feel good when he picked him up. Dude, he and kept he got doing that the head. whole fight. Yeah. 
I would be pissed off, bro. Get your fucking elbow off cups. my dick. They do wear cups, though. I don't care. But Get uh, off me. Well, some wear cups. It's not mandatory, I don't think. I'm not sure on that one. Yeah, but him getting dropped on his head, that was scary because he could broke his fucking neck. Yeah, that was crazy. Because when you slam someone, you're not just dropping them. It's their whole weight. You're you're forcing them down hard as fuck. Um, but that's that's all I got for for UFC from from me. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. Hopefully, we'll see you next week because I'll be on vacation. Let us know what uh Peace. you want to see. Yeah, I'll be on vacation next week, so I'll miss you guys. We won't miss him, though. That's disgusting.